and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Teamer Hydra that we're going to go ahead and play over in Mythic. Call this deck Hydra basically because this is a Bioessence Hydra deck. We have the deck built around Bioessence Hydra trying to take the most advantage of this sweet rare from War of the Spark. So it's a 5 mana 4 4 trampler, but it also enters the battlefield with a 1 1 counter for every loyalty counter on planeswalkers you control so you're going to need to play a lot of planeswalkers and you can see here with us playing 11 planeswalkers we're playing plenty of them and plus whenever you whenever loyalty counters are added to planeswalkers you control you can put that many counters on bioessence hydra so what that means which i didn't realize at first is that if you have a hydra in play and then you play a brand new planeswalker however many counters that planeswalker enters with you add counters to your hydra for that much so like let's say you have like just a 4-4 hydra in play and then you play a domri domri enters with five loyalty counters so that immediately puts five counters on the bio essence hydra and then if you tick up you put another counter on there so this thing can get pretty crazy and get really big uh we have the domri in here they can give it haste with that plus one ability chandra if we play chandra with six loyalty and then tick up goes to eight we can put eight counters on the hydra if we have like Bio is inside her with five mana, Chandra with six mana, get eight counters immediately there, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Vivian helps helps all these creatures grow and everything. As y'all know, Vivian's just been one of my favorite cards. Kiora can un untap some lands, can ramp us into Bio Essence Hydra, also draws cards, also has just a ton of loyalty. Kiora just works so well with Bio Essence Hydra. We are gonna go ahead and try one Lotus Field in this sideboard here or sorry in this this mana base we're trying one lotus field uh untap the lotus field with with kiora to get a whole lot of mana uh we can untap it with nissa as well um so we're gonna we're gonna try a lotus field in here especially with the hydroid crisis we can ramp up to like a really big crisis with lotus field you never know maybe it'll work maybe it won't um we've got a couple more chandras in here in the board for control matchups get that emblem or uh or for like nexus matchups uh where we have all these the five ramp creatures the four ramp planeswalkers i guess the six ramp planeswalkers use all these things to help ramp into chandra and try to get them the emblem before they start taking infinite turns whole bunch of you know then then our sideboard you know is m20 cards we got our fries our veil of summers pretty good looking deck here so let's go ahead and give this a try like i said i I do think this deck's pretty strong, so we're going to go ahead and take it on over to Ranked, see how it does. We're hoping to get the... We're hope, <clears throat> hoping to get uh, the 3-2. 3-2 is a really good record in Ranked with winning 60%, so that's that's our goal. We're going to play five matches here, and so we're hopefully get hopefully win uh, three of them. We just played against this opponent earlier. They were, oh man, no green mana. This this hand was so good. Paradise into Kiora into Bio Essence. This hand was so good if one of these was a green mana. Ugh. I'm going to five. Yeah, this is not a very good hand. All right. This opponent earlier was just playing a weird Boros deck. And it looks like they've ranked up. We were playing Grixis. Their deck didn't look very impressive, but they have gone up in rank since we played them with Grixis a little bit ago. Thanks, Al Green. Welcome to the channel. Oh, now it's Boros Feather. That's a, a good deck. Yeah, no so no yeah, no Hydra Lord in here because you know we're we're really a bio essence hydra deck, so we need a lot of planeswalkers. Yeah. My opponent being very rude. They just didn't attack? They didn't attack. What's the deal with that, Hawkeye? All right, so before 
before they um, kill my other land or elves, I'm drawing the card here with Krasis because I, I would like to have the Bio Essence Hydra be bigger than just a 4-4. Like, I don't want them to just Reckless Rage this Bio Essence Hydra. Ah, so that's why they didn't attack. This is probably going to be a really tough matchup for us. Yeah, we are, we are very dead there to the Feather. This is going to be tough. What do you think, Hawkeye? Think we can pull this one out? Hmm. So we're definitely playing the other Lava Coils. Fry kills Feather, but doesn't kill Arcanist. But does kill Feather. Yeah. All right, Chandra's out. Spellbreaker out. Yeah, Spellbreaker out. We need to, to just try to go very big. Don't think I want to cut any of that stuff. All right, two negate, one, one incubation druid. Hey, Vexnia, or Vexnia, getting the gifted sub from Audio Magics. Thank you so much, Audio Magics. Thanks for that gifted sub. Santa Magics. Hmm. All right, we're going to keep this instead of going down to five again and just kind of hope that we draw you know, any of our either interaction or like a planeswalker to follow up this incubate this uh sorry the paradise druid. Nope, we'll just draw another land. Wow. This has not been good. Playing 24 lands, it's not like we're just like, you know, playing 30 lands or something. Can't really imagine us drawing any worse than this. If I had to pick what what was the absolute worst we could possibly draw? Very good draw step. How about that? GG's. 
I definitely just want to go to the next game. That was not good. Alright, this is looking a whole lot better. This was like our, our first hand that other time if we would have just had... That we talked about like if we would have just had the green land. And this didn't really save us against Adanto Vanguards. Do I want to minus Kiora to play another Paradise Druid? Here. No, maybe we minus Kiora and Lava Coil. means they obviously they can attack the Kiora. Put Kiora down to three. But I'm gonna coil this knight. Let's dive right into battle. One drop ripples and grows. So if they do hit Kiora down to three, and then if we don't draw a land, it has to go down to two. So our Bios Tider won't be that big. It'll only be a 6-6 six, six if we don't draw a land here. Draw a land, it'll be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, now we need to draw a land just to play it. Cool. And they use their cast down. So hopefully no more cast downs. Nature flows with vigor. Ooh, another one. And of course, next turn I can play the Domery and make this a 12 12. No. Hmm. Oh, gonna go for a swim and cool oh. off. The Danto Vanguards are really annoying. All right, so we got to slow down a little bit here. Yeah, the Lotus Field last turn. Been a little better. I'm not expecting their, you know, the vampire deck to have just a ton of removal. So hopefully this bioessence Hydra doesn't get killed. Or next turn I can just like play Hydra. Ugh. Depart Innistrad immediately, or you would, I bestow a mighty curse.
Like my only way to get rid of the Soren is to to go with Bio Essence Hydra here. My bloodline flows through you. The Danto Vanguards are just killing me. Would like to draw a land so that we can play Domri and Spellbreaker next turn. So we're probably dead if we don't. Which we're probably dead if we do. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Yeah, we're dead. Like, they're probably playing, like, what? Like, three cast downs? And them having two of them? And then having, you know, two Adanto Vanguards there. Turned out they had a third one also. That's really tough. Adanto Vanguard and Soren are going to be the two hardest cards for us to beat. Like those are those are the scariest cards. So they had four Adanto Vanguards and Sorens. That that's not good. We need to hope they don't draw those eight cards. So Chandra's weird. Minus three, like, could be really good, or she she could just not do it very much. I'd rather have Veil of Summer than Negate. Veil of Summer is a, a possibility... I also think just our best way of, of winning this is just being proactive and just, you know, like, actually, you know, ramping out and everything and just hope they don't cast down like that. Like, I think I actually just want to keep this the same. I don't think I really want to water down the deck. So I, I do think we can go over the top of them. <laughs> oh no, audio magics! You should you should probably go to your yeah your standard event, the, the local card shop. You should do that. You can watch the replay on YouTube later. They'll all be up there. So I'll go Paradise Druid instead of Domri so that because Paradise Druid can have blue mana. Yeah, there you go, Twitch Mobile. <laughs> oh, stop having a Danto Vanguard. Just stop. This was not the card I wanted to play this turn. Well, they missed a land drop. Time for us to hurt them. <laughs> They're going to be like taking boss, eight man. here. Well, yeah, they can attack back and kill the, the Domri. We got a, a different one. 
But swinging for eight obviously makes it a lot harder to activate Vanguard. Alright, right, have a good night, Magics. Alright, take that Gruel Arc Bow. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. You picked Jump. the wrong fight. Darkness will always return. Wouldn't mind drawing a land, you know, ever. A land would be nice. Anger only gets me so far. Like, if, imagine if we would have drawn a land there, we would have had the Paradise Druid be able to take out the Sorin and been able to attack them for four. That would have been nice. Hey, land. I could go Domri, Spellbreaker. Duels are for push knobs. Let's just fight. Oh, have at it, boys. All right, we got him down to four. No, no, put me back in. Much removal. Not to brag, but my friends. Come All right, so I'm going to lead with Kiora instead of leading with Bioessence and Hydra, so that Bioessence and Hydra draws us a card, also with Kiora. As you can tell, this is getting kind of grindy here. Well, they kept that card on top with their scry. So we'll see what it is. Hopefully not removal spell. They have drawn a ton of removal spells for vampires in these games. I found to nothing beyond my own obligation. The blood calls to your soul. Remember when I said that Soren and <laughs> Soren Adanto Vanguard and removal spells is gonna be what was hard for us to beat? That's basically all they've had. Two Sorens, three Vanguards. Three removal spells. <laughs> Time to ebb from We're still in an okay spot here. 
Darn. No Planeswalker for us. A Planeswalker would have ended it. All right, Brick, draw a uh, land. Draw a uh, land. All right. Going to game number three. So I kind of want to play the Veil of Summers. But I don't know where I could fit in the Veil of Summers. Like, the Lava Coils and Veil of Summers are both, like, are both certainly reasonable. I don't really know where to fit those in. Like, do I take out Spellbreaker or Domri? Well, those cards are fine. No, I don't think I really want Daredevil here. Yeah, maybe one Domri 4, maybe the Incubation Druid. That could be a couple Veil of Summers. Coil instead of Chandra. All right, here we go. Ugh. Mulligan. I mean, Five card hand. Wah, wah. So I'm keeping Kiora because, like, Kiora could draw. You know, if we play Kiora first, then Spellbreaker, maybe we draw a card. Ooh. They didn't play a second land. Hmm. Can't really trade Paradise Druid for Knight of the Ebon Legion, even though I wouldn't mind doing that. No, oh, we need land. I defy God. Let's get moving. Okay. Now I want to play Phoenix next turn. Draw a card. So we'll do that trade, then they don't get to counters on the knights either. The ocean surges, life thrives. <laughs> yeah, they, they mulligan to six and with so they kept the one lander on six cards. They didn't keep it on seven. But still yeah, keeping one landers is kinda rough. Just mulligan again. Hey, Necrolepsy. Hey, Zeus the Great. 
Welcome to the channel. Thanks, Zeus. That is sub number 22 today. Oh, I was one behind. Need to get on this. Hey, good night, Aite. Have a good one. I would say Grixis wasn't the best today by far. I mean, it had one more win than the Abundance Ramp and stuff, but... And who knows, this this could be a 4-1 here. Um, but yeah, I, I am definitely planning on playing more Grixis. However, when I am playing more Grixis, unsure. Hey, Jelly! The top 251 hype. <laughs> Thank you there. I wanted to play the Domery... Because Dom, like the four, the three mana Domery, because three mana Domery would mean Hydra the next turn. But I guess I should just do this. Get some defense out here. We can play six mana Domery. Be careful. I'm a right nut out. Next turn we can have Hasty Bioessence Hydra. like some mono white aggro here, huh? Wow, just no attacks? Just none? It's interesting. You're gonna hurt when this is through. The old 11-11 haste. Just taking it. They kind of have to have Conclave Tribunal, otherwise this Hydra is going to kill them. I guess maybe they have Conclave Tribunal. No, they don't. Alright, well, they did. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. You should quit before you get your teeth kicked in. Sixteen fifteen. My Lotus Field, trying it out. Uh, we can we can do some like some cool stuff with Kiora and Lotus Field, right? Like being able to untap it uh, could maybe get us like a huge Hydra Crisis. Also, like helps fix our mana. You know, gets us a double red for like Phoenix and Chandra. Gets us the triple green for Vivian. I don't know. Just trying it trying it out. We'll see see if it's that. It hasn't really been that good so far. It's been fine, but. Uh, we also have the Nissa that can untap the, the Lotus Field also. So, like, a couple of ways with the Kiora and Nissa to make a huge crisis. All right, maybe get some fries, some coils, some Rex Ages. Um, six mana has got to be too much for, like, the three damage to each creature, right? It's got to be. Nissa also kind of seems pretty slow. Nissa does make three threes over and over and over again. I guess Incubation Druid's better than Paradise Druid. Um, 
That's just too many two mana removal spells. Kind of feels like it. Let's go with this. <laughs> yeah, Hydro with Haste is pretty great. Just, <clears throat> you know, an 11 11 Haste on turn four, and then a 17 16 Haste the next turn. Or, you know, well, I guess the Haste doesn't matter anymore, but attack for 11 on turn four, then 17 on turn five that last game. Hey, good job, no ceilings. Got a Nissa out of the pack. Awesome. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know about the giant monsters event. I don't know. I saw it on here on Arena. Ugh, that's the weekend event, but I don't know what would be like a really good deck with that or anything. I feel like I feel like a a chupacabra. Like maybe like the old like Demir quasi duplicate deck or something like that. I feel like Chupacabra is just awesome in that event. Maybe like you know Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, Rekindling Phoenix, like those creatures that cost four that give you some good stuff. Yeah, the Abundance deck could be pretty nice. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, Chupacabra, Hostage Sorry, Takers, I'm Blood late. for Bones, Brew. I like it. That's more like it. So I have, we're going to kill Teferi. Can I play Kiora and Domri? Play Kiora, no. I cannot play Kiora and Domri and kill Teferi. Let's go Kiora, Paradise Druid. I really should have seen that coming. My pets are hungry, and you look like lush. I love to make a splash. I was try I was planning on on blocking here. Like this was going to be a block. But now with unbreakable formation. Hmm. So Biowise Insider is better than Phoenix. I'm going to see if they have Conclave Tribunal. Something similar to that. Now I'm going to 
have three blockers for two attackers in case they do like get rid of the phoenix i uh, do want to block both of these things Hmm. Oh, come on, auto tap. Are you kidding me? Leave that that untapped. Right, <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede. I was come just planning on playing that in the Land War Elf. Guess I'm playing Spellbreaker now. One drop ripples and grows. And yeah, sure, we'll just play the Animal Elf too. We have 6, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18. So Bioessence Hydra attacks for 18. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence now and then. I guess they don't actually have to. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Because they don't actually have to block because they're at 25 because of the, the life gain they've had so far. Eighteen seventeen is pretty big though. Next turn, we can add uh, we can add 13 counters to the Bioessence Hydra, plus 14, 15. We can add 15 counters next turn. So we can make this a 33 power trampler next turn. <laughs> oh, going after the Phoenix? Okay. Do they do they think like I'm not gonna kill them or something? Are they gonna do this extra point of damage somehow? Okay. Alright, two and one. And that's why we're building around Bioessence Hydra. Cause that card is sweet. Just a, a haste, five mana, 1817 haste trampler. <laughs> and then the next turn, 33 power. At least it would have been. Card's so big. So big. Yeah, this is, this is a fun deck to play. Big creatures and planeswalkers. This is a fun one. Whoa, Balding Yeti with that resub. Thank you so much, Balding Yeti. No, no thuds in the deck. Just good old fashion attacking. <laughs> yeah, make the world's biggest hydras. Well, we do need to uh, draw lands from here, though. To keep a little bit of a sketchy hand. Please draw a land. Draw, draw a land. All right. 
That's good. It's a land. All right, so I guess we need a, we need another land though. Still can't play anything in our hand. That's left. Another land, preferably red. Hero shook. <laughs> you pulled hydras, a few hydras in your first packs of War of the Spark, and you felt bad about it. No man, yeah, hydras are sweet. Anyway, Hero Shook, Shook staying on that three month streak. Thank you so much there. All right, not a land. Don't actually get to play anything here. There you go, Balding Eddie. Get in the system. Because, yeah, I guess you counted towards, yesterday towards the sub count, too. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Zydroth. I haven't... I, ha I haven't really mind that, yeah, after you mulligan, your, your cards get reversed. I haven't... I haven't been annoyed by it um, myself. But I, I could see that bothering some people. The Spitfire looks so big compared to Chandra. But it's just one power. Obviously, it can grow quite a bit. So I guess this is after it's grown a bunch. Hey, what's up, Johnny Pop Pie? Getting that tier two sub yet again. It is not quite Friday. Feels like it could be. Thanks, Johnny Popeye. Darn. No Phoenix for us. Which, if we would have been able to play any of those cards in hand, I would have been playing Phoenix there that turn. All right, get Chandra out of here. Get Coil in. Daredevil for their burn spells. Um, maybe not Daredevil. Maybe not Domri. No, Domri good. I guess this Domri. All right. I I did keep a a sketchy one there with just the two lands. And, you know, we had two cards, a card that cost five and a card that cost six in our opener. Um, we did draw one land, which was good, but drew some other big ones. Normally I'd want to keep this, but against the red deck, they'll be killing my Paradise Druid. No, I'm, ki I'm keeping this. They're probably going to be killing the Paradise Druid. I just either hope we draw red mana or hope they don't. One of those two things happen. If we do not draw red mana and they kill the Paradise Druid, then we're going to be in for a bad time. Oh, that's a Paradise Druid killer, Ugh, if I've ever seen one. Looks like we may be getting run over by the red deck. Come on, red mana. That was the color that we were short last game, too.
Darn. So I could go Spellbreaker, or I could Coil Steamkin plus Land of War Elf. See if this works. <laughs> no, it's not hamburgers on my tie. It's bicycles. There are some bicycles on the tie. If y'all can see that. Not hamburgers. Bicycles. Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. All right, perfect. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Worked out. Got this Vivian. So now, if they they play the Spitfire that they exiled, we can have we can minus and have our Lanor kill the Spitfire. Come on, draw land. No Spitfire over there. Draw land. Could just Krasis for one and then make it a 3-3. Is that better than playing Kiora? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out, Kitty. Hmm. Octopuses, serpents. Oh, I love them all. There you go, Kiora. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a Todd not seer. That emote. Whenever I play Eldrazi Tron all the time. <laughs> yeah, the kitty was like, no. Ow, ow, ow. Get moving. Really wouldn't mind a red source. So they could sack an Ember Hauler, of course, if they would like. They may have Burn Spell in hand. I'd rather them do that than have a Burn Spell in hand. Bring me an ally. Get that thing out of here. The ocean surges, life thrives. All right, frenzy down. Another frenzy. Uh, 
This is not good. I love to make a splash. Hey, red mana. We're fit enough to survive. Down to eight. Yeah. One drop ripples and grows. You are drawing some cards. They had a really bad frenzy turn the last turn. This will be fun to watch. And who knows, maybe. No, we're probably not going to be able to swing for lethal next turn. We're probably going to need two turns. <laughs> yeah, we're playing with fire. Oh no. Six. Six is not a very good spot to be. Uh, that's game. They had a very, very bad frenzy turn the turn before. But the second frenzy dealt us in. We had the first frenzy covered with that minus five getting the reclamation sage. That was cool. But not our second frenzy. All right, we're two and two. We're playing one more match here. We're breaking the tie. Here we go. Let's finish with the three two. Now, light up the stage exiles the cards. It doesn't doesn't put the cards in hand, so that's why they can still cast the cards from light up the stage because they get exiled. All right, waiting on the opponent. It's a difficult choice to, to decide to choose who will play first. Like, you can either choose yourself, and then you get to play first, or you choose the opponent, and then they play first, and you play second. It's really one that you have to think about for quite a while, because it can have a big impact on the game, as we know. So what decision did they make? They decided to go first. OK. Interesting. Interesting choice. We'll see how it pay pays out for them. No, nobody does, Radical Guru. Yeah, when I was playing Grixis earlier, why did I reveal cards that didn't do anything with Kefnet? And that is because you don't have a, you don't get to reveal cards with Kefnet. Or you, sorry, you don't get to just reveal your draw step. Hardly ever. 
basically never get to reveal your draw step. So I wanted to reveal my draw step, because that's just something different, something you get to do only with Kefnet, so that's pretty sweet. So, you know, doing something different with life. Well, this was our first loss, a matchup that felt really tough earlier. It was not one I wanted to face again. I think Reclamation Sage is much, much better than Brontodon right now. So I wanted to be playing Kiora first because we get to draw cards. But we're under a lot of pressure here, so we're going to go ahead and go with the Spellbreaker. I think Reclamation Sage is miles better than Brontodon against Mono White and against Nexus. It's like they're not. It's just not even a, a close comparison, and so that's why I want Rex Sages and Dex. I think Brontodon is probably a little better against Red. We can banish evil from this like that's plane. that's why people were playing a whole lot of Brontodons because people weren't playing Mono White or Nexus for a, a little while, but now Mono White and Nexus are both popular decks, and you just I need to be playing Rex Age. Obviously, they have another Defiant Strike. Obviously. quite indestructible. No, Rex Age is not always in standard. It's only been printed twice. It was only in, it was in standard one other time and it's in standard now. That's not always. Quail doesn't like actually kill their creatures though, right? For a 24 land deck with nine mana creatures and six planeswalkers that add mana, we have really, really struggled having mana. Like if you if you add up the lands, our mana creatures, and the three mana planeswalkers, that's thirty seven out of sixty cards, you know, it's more than half. Uh, this hand would have been perfect if one of those lands came into play untapped. By perfect, I mean certainly reasonable. 
I think this is like our maybe our best card here. I think like this is how we can maybe steal a win in this matchup. Is by having very large bioessence hydras out early. And this is the kind of hand that could do it if we had turn two druid, turn three Domri, and then turn four and turn five, we're playing very large bioessence hydras. I think this is the kind of hand that could win. I have to mulligan though. Really wanted to keep it. We do not have timed removal. We have lava coil. But yeah, no, yeah, feather. Our deck is the kind of deck that feather just completely beats up on. You know, just mid range deck with like some not very much interaction, not really that fast of a clock. Just a, a mid range planeswalker value deck. This is what feather is built to beat. Yesterday we had a bad day of this kind of thing of like playing a deck and then whatever whatever deck we don't want to face. Yesterday it was like uh, like Esper, you know, like we're playing the Orzhov deck and we wanted to face just not Esper, but anything else was fine and we just got paired against Esper three times in five matches. This time it's like, well, Feather is not really a deck that like Feather is probably our worst matchup and getting paired against it multiple times. <laughs> That's how magic goes sometimes. What's up, Holy Avatar? But not always. Like, Grixis. Grixis, we didn't want to face Esper either. We didn't get paired against Esper. 26th sub of the day. <clears throat> All right. Sorry. I got to make a decision. And we're going to play Vivian. I feel like my opponent wants to kill the Paradise Druid. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. My, my, how you've grown. Why did I decide in Fry? Because it doesn't kill... I don't know. It, it doesn't kill the, the two drop, the Arcanist. I mean, it does kill... <clears throat> it does kill most of their things. It doesn't kill Arcanist. And I don't, I don't want just like a million removal spells. And so... Because they are pretty good against removal. So I'd just have Lava Coil instead. Because Lava Coil... Kills all the same things. Except for Lava Coil doesn't kill Gideon. But I'd rather kill Arcanist over Gideon if I had to choose one. I hope you don't mind if I take nature flows with vigor. My, my, how you've grown. Wow. I'm not sure you can handle what I have planned. I mean, I guess I should have played... I, I just didn't have Deafening Clarion on my radar, honestly. I could have played around that better. By making one of my creatures for toughness. So that's, that's certainly my fault. I'll return 
with larger predators. Well, I wish I would have just ticked up Vivian now. You call it anarchy for me? But this game's lost because of that deafening Clarion. And me not playing better around that card. I was I was honestly thinking of shock. I didn't want either of my creatures to get shocked. So I was trying to get it get my creatures above shock, but Oh well. This is a prime day for justice. Share in my light. No, yeah, like the feather deck, yeah, they they all just have a bunch of clarions in their sideboard against the green mana creature decks. I just it definitely makes sense for them to play it. I just didn't have it on my radar right then. <laughs> my muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. Through this land, we are all connected. Be wary of the ground you walk on. <laughs> I can take a hit or two. We are pretty dead, though. Bioessence Insider would, would be awesome. We top deck that card. Rigme! Welcome to, the, welcome to the channel, Rigme. Thank you so much. 27 subscribers on the day. Awesome day here, there. Y'all are awesome. <laughs> I should probably come up with better words or just different words, larger vocabulary. The land will not forsake you. Ah, these go here, those go there. The ocean surges, life thrives. All right, good turn. Well, that was just me being kind of blind, blinded have blinders on and kind of being frustrated but I guess N that was a pretty good turn but I guess Nissa was a better turn because that Gideon only had three loyalty I didn't realize that Gideon would have died to Nissa tick up I should have had Gideon die because yeah I, I could have just ticked up on Domri minus Kiora play Nissa animate another land kill Gideon but maybe this will set us up in a better position here now Indestructible.
All right. Let's do, let's do the thing. We will not fail. <laughs> A little pick me up before the real fun begins. I love to make a splash. Rise, my elemental friend. All right, we're doing the thing. We're going to leave our planeswalkers unguarded. I think just attack for 16. Yep. Obviously kill kill Gideon with Phoenix and then attack them for 16. We'll see if they can deal with a 16-16. Hopefully not. It's a pretty big trampler right there. Another day, villain. So it's a 5 mana 1616 16 haste trample that also ETB draw draw card. That's pretty good. Yeah, replacement for Kindling Phoenix just play play other creatures that have four power because of Kiora. So you can play Ceratops or Ripjaw Raptor or you know whatever else just play play other creatures with four power. Because you, you want to have a good amount of Kiora draw card hits. Um, so, yeah. What's up, Nerd Rage? Thanks for that resub there. It's all in the tie. That's sub number 28. We are two away from getting this sub goal. And we picked up the win. Wow, a game that I was defeated and thought we had lost. Our opponent only had the three lands, was just very slow because of that we picked up the win wow let's get another coil we can just cut spell breakers Doesn't mean Kiora is not drawing a lot of cards off his stuff, and Domri is not really fighting as much. And we don't have as many cards to other Domri minus, not as many creatures. Yeah. All right, cut the incubation druid again. Get spell one spellbreaker in. Yeah, there's a Lotus Field in this deck. So, yeah, we do have the ability to cure a Lotus Field. We haven't done that yet. <laughs> yeah, an advantage bar would have been good for that, that match, that's for sure. That was a really swingy game. Agree. All right, so, yeah, if y'all are enjoying the stream, we got this is our last game of the day, so it's time to hit that sub button. Let's try to get two more people to subscribe. We'll get to 30. Hit another sub goal. We'll crack a pack. And we'll have that down for. Hmm. I think I'm getting rid of the Lotus Field here, though. We'll have that down towards our next 12 hour stream. Game three, not a ton of interaction. 619, getting that gifted sub. If there's anybody who deserves that gifted sub, it is certainly 619. Thanks, Derlug Derlugner. There we go. Derlugner, you are the man. Thank you so much.
Do we call their bluff? Nah. I want to. Good thing I didn't. This allows us to play Phoenix, though, also next turn. We wouldn't be able to play Phoenix without the Paradise Druid. Their game one that we lost, it was actually this exact same thing that happened here. There on the play went turn two Vanguard. I went turn two Paradise Druid. They went turn three 10th District Legionnaire plus Defiant Strike. Oh, that was the exact same. All right, we just need one more subscriber now. Yeah, they're, they're just so likely they had a pump spell, and the fact that like the, the Phoenix didn't do that. Satchmo with a resub here. Love the content. Oh, I love you too, Satchmo. Thank you so much there. All right, another sub goal towards the 12 hour. Down in the books. Y'all are amazing. Made it. I'm not very confident we're going to be winning this game. Not too confident here. <laughs> Thanks, Guru. So I have to just go Domery, kill the Arcanist. So otherwise that Arcanist kills me. Which means that I'm going to be having the Paradise Druid jump. You think I'm a crazy beast? Where do you see my mates? I guess I could... See, wait, what are they going to do? Is they going to have Reckless Rage? Yeah, I should just, I should just kill this thing. Let the bladders feel the ground tremble. I wish our creatures had vigilance. I think how sweet that would be to be able to just attack for eight. Yeah, Grixis did really well today. Maybe no spells in hand. No spells in hand? Don't pay for life? No spells. No spells. Ugh. Boo. So many of those Defiant Strikes. Another game of us just, just not having lands. It's It's been surprising how many games that we just have not had lands. It's been a whole lot of them. I'd like to draw another Phoenix, though. That'd be, like, a very good draw. Okay, Paradise Druid's not... Or, sorry, Land of is not bad. So we can double spell with... Spellbreaker Elf. Oh, I wish 
wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. Hopefully they have all lands over there. Maybe they're out of pump spells. Is that possible? that possible? Used four pump spells already in 15 cards? We probably don't have a fifth, right? Yep, you get two. Yeah, you get two. Yeah, if you... A creature already has Riot, and then the bigger Domri gives it Riot again, you get, you get double Riot. So yeah, you can get like a 1-1 counter and haste, or two 1-1 counters. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Power. All right, next turn, big crisis, Domri, fight feather. Probably like a crisis for like six. I mean, good amount of blocker still. Yeah, they didn't. Ha they did not have a pump spell, so I could have just sacrificed Domri. Oh, they have another Clarion. Wow, another Clarion's really rough. Wow, that's really unfortunate. That's really, really unfortunate. Wow. Oh, come on, they have a pump spell? That's that's game. Darn. Yeah, this this is a good deck. If if you don't play against Feather, <laughs> we came close to beating Feather though. We came close. But Feather's certainly going to be. That's going to be a tough one. I could maybe have maybe change up the sideboard for that matchup. I don't know exactly what to do for that. I don't know, it's late and everything. Um, yeah, they could have just given their creature pro red, and then, yeah, we would not have been able to block it, and they could have just attacked for lethal, but oh well. Um, negate's kind of an important card to counter, you know, like those protection spells and those pump spells and stuff. We didn't really have those, but we also just got stuck on lands all the time. 
The Lotus Field wasn't that impressive. It wasn't. If I wouldn't play a Lotus Field, I would be playing Basic Mountain. That would be the land over Lotus Field. And, and honestly, made, like you know, we wanted to try out Lotus Field, but it, it wasn't really anything ever that we wanted. Basic Mountain would be the other. That would be the, the land that Lotus Field would be if you don't want to put a Lotus Field in there. Um, but pretty sweet deck. Pretty fun one to play. It's a fun deck. <clears throat> All right. So if you are watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck as well. Um, and if so, hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I would appreciate that. But that's it here for Teamer Hydra. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you for another video.